Now, nobody can argue that the DJI Neo does a huge amount for the money that you pay for it. Yes, there may be the old grumbling from people on social media regarding camera quality, wind resistance, or some other little niggles they don't quite like, but let's just get a grip at the end of the day. This thing is incredibly cheap. The amount of features it gives you is plentiful, especially at that really low end price point. And this is absolutely perfect for capturing footage for person on your social media. Now, at the end of the day, I don't think absolutely anybody is going to be trying to attempt to use this to create some sort of cinematic masterpiece. However, there is one feature when you are filming, which just absolutely ruins your footage. And that is where you are filming something and you get an exposure shift. And there is a bit of a problem, not necessarily with the DJI Neo, but with the DJI Flight App in general, especially if you're using an Android device where it does not give you the ability to lock exposure, resulting in some pretty rubbish footage. But not to worry because in this video I'm going to show you the secret trick that I figured out quite some while ago on how you can actually lock your exposure on the DJI Flight App for Android phones. What's even more funny is if you read what DJI tell you, they tell you it can't be done. But let's get into it. Now it was actually a long term subscriber of my channel Graham that reached out to me via an inbox to ask the question or to highlight the issue he was having with the DJI Neo. He has an Android device and the trouble he was having is the fact that you cannot actually lock exposure when you are recording video resulting in a really messy, unprofessional exposure shift in the middle of your shots. Now Graham had actually already reached out to DJI to ask whether it was actually possible to lock exposure using an Android device in video mode, to which he received this response telling him that it was not actually possible to be able to do this. Now of course there is a couple of different ways you can get around it, but what Graham was actually really talking about is where you can tap to set your exposure, then press again to to lock and hold it in. Now, if you do have an iOS device, as you can see, this works absolutely perfectly. We can go from sort of the bright environment to the darker environment. And of course, you know, we get that ugly exposure shift, but we can lock it by tapping the screen, tapping and holding the screen, and we get the notification to say the exposure has been locked. Then of course, if we go side to side, you see no shift whatsoever. Now, if you do have the DJI RCN2 controller, RCN3 controller, or indeed the RC2, is you can assign the exposure lock to the function button on the controller. So that is of course one way of doing it. So by simply assigning this within the DJI Fly app to the function button on the controller, you can just set this. I've said this to double tap. We could just double tap that button on the controller. And of course that will also lock in the exposure. But what if you are in a situation where you already want to use that function button for something else, okay? And you want to be able to tap on the screen to lock the exposure. Well, as I've already mentioned, DJI tell us it cannot actually be done. But that is actually wrong, believe it or not. So let's just take a look at the process on how you can lock exposure without assigning it to any of the function buttons and of course without having to own an iPhone. Now this footage was sent to me by Graham himself because I use an iPhone. So of course I do have to just rely on somebody else sending me that footage, okay? But this is the trick as explained to him and he's going to demonstrate it for you right now. So essentially what you do if you're already recording, you need to stop your recording and then instead of being in video mode, we're going to put it in photo mode. No, I've not gone crazy. This is a deliberate act. Once we've gone onto photo mode, whether the drones on the ground or in the air, once we've tapped to set our exposure, we lock that in place. But this is the little trick. What we need to do is flick over to video mode and then very, very quickly, we need to tap and hold the center of the screen where those little brackets have already come up from switching from photo to video. Once we tap and hold that, as you can see, we can lock in exposure on video mode. Now, this was a bug that I sort of spoke about a couple of years ago, as I previously mentioned, and I'm not entirely sure why DJI have never really fixed this. Like I say, it's not a major deal at the end of the day because you can assign one of those function buttons, but of course, 
having that ability to do it via tapping and holding on the screen is going to make the process so much easier, okay? So like I say, I just wanted to bring you this video for those of you that do have an Android device or any of DJI's drones, even though of course I am using the DJI Neo in this video purely because it's the most current and up to date. And of course, this is the one that Graham was messaging me about. I thought I'd bring you this tutorial. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I don't think anybody is really going to be using the DJI Neo to create some sort of cinematic masterpiece videos. You're going to be spending a bit more money on a DJI drone to create something similar, and most certainly something with a bigger sensor. But at the end of the day, what this does for the money is absolutely incredible. It's perfect for posting on, of course, social media. And regardless of whether you just post it on social media or some sort of cinematic masterpiece with a much more expensive drone, it's pretty ugly to see an exposure shift in your shot. It doesn't look professional. And hopefully by watching this video, you now know how to avoid it, fix that exposure for so much better results. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more drone related hints, tips and tricks just like this one. And until next time, see you again soon.